Howdy again, it's Mr. Pete, your YouTube shop teacher, and today this is episode number and it's an update on Sheer Tomiko products. I made a video not too long ago and I'll flash that on the screen right now. If you haven't already watched it, take a look. Okay, hopefully you have watched that and I talked all about the history of the company and the fact that these micrometers actually are a tube to reduce the weight in the larger sizes it makes a big deal but in today's video a couple things I wanted to show first of all since I made that last video one Mr. Randall Showquist out of Portland sent me this catalog so we'll review that it's a 1981 Sheer Tomiko catalog thank you Randall for that and also, I don't believe I've ever shown this beautiful, in the case, Sheer Tomiko height gauge. So we'll talk a little bit about this and compare it with the Mitutoyo and a few other things. And uh, thanks for tuning in. And we will go through this catalog just a little bit to show you some of the products on in there. But to start with, you might recall in the last video... I gave you a little history of Sheer Tomiko. Well, I have updated that since I received this, but it's very hard to find information. I spent over an hour on Google, and they're just missing gaps as far as the history of Sheer Tomiko and Reed and uh, ST Industries and all of that. So we'll start out with uh, taking a look, a closer look at this. Nothing breathtaking, but something I wanted to insert in there. There was a period of time, and this is a 1982 catalog that I got from Randall, and they called it Rank Precision Industries at that time. They were based out of England, and they owned Sheer Tomiko for a short while. I'm thinking maybe 10 years. I really do not know. That is the gap that is missing in my little history lesson, but basically this is a Sheer Tomiko catalog from 1982, about a quarter inch thick. So a real quick review here. Originally, Sheer Tomiko was called the Tubular Micrometer Company, so they changed the name to Tomiko, which sounds Japanese. Many people are confused by that. And then number three, they merged with the George Shear Company of New York that also made micrometers, and the name was changed to Sheer Tomiko. Number four, they bought out the Reed Tool or Micrometer Company at an unknown time, but many years ago. Five, later the name that was changed to STI Industries or ST. And six is what I've added here. In the 80s, ST was bought out by Rank Precision Industries, I think in Britain. And this ownership lasted about 10 years. And then finally, number seven, it went back to being STI and closed in 2018. I have owned this Sheer Tomiko height gauge for about 10 years. I don't think I've ever used it. And the reason I don't is it's a 12 inch as opposed to the 6 inch Mitutoyo that I usually use. And I do smaller work, so I don't really need such a long or high height gauge, but it came complete with a, a little instruction book as well as catalog. This is actually a miniature catalog. And in the box here, certificate of accuracy, and this is the carbide scriber. Let me pull it out real quickly. So here's the carbide scriber and the clamp, nicely packed, still in perfect condition. So let me go ahead and put that on the instrument. And the base on this is incredibly heavy, so it will not tip over. Even though this is clearly marked Sheer Tomiko right here, up on the top of the beam, and it's probably not going to show up, it says Made in Japan, right in here someplace. Now, another unique thing about this height gauge is it has an adjustment right here, a very fine adjustment, so that you can move the scale up and down within this groove. I don't know if that is just uh, so you can recalibrate it or replace it or uh, exactly what the reason would be for that. 
So you can see there's a lot of attention to detail on this device. And I don't know who made it for them, but obviously they were just buying it from a supplier. Nice hammer tone finish. You know, I don't think I even mentioned that this is a dial type of height gauge, not a vernier, not a digital. And I prefer these over the electronic ones. <laughs> that other one I got that's electronic, every time I pick it up, the battery is dead. So I do not like that at all. But here is a really nice instrument. I just wanted to show it off. Bottom, I'm sure, has been lapped. It's meant to be used with a surface plate, of course. And when compared alongside of the little Mitutoyo, I think you can see why this is my go-to rather than getting this out of the case and having much more height here than what I need for the small work that I generally do. For those that can take it, let me page through this 1982 catalog real quickly just to show you the extent of their product line. Of course, micrometers of all kinds, including the tubular type. Other products here, gauges, inside micrometers, depth micrometers, micrometer heads. And now we're coming into calipers. This is a vernier. And there's a height gauge, but at this time they're only showing a vernier height gauge. So apparently the one that I have was made later. Here's some electronic ones that, that look pretty crude because this is already over 40 years old, almost 45. A complete line of squares and rules and depth gauges and just about everything you'd see in a steric catalog. Calipers, edge finders, magnets, and so on. I won't go any farther. A lot of uh, other... You know, I've got one of these. I believe it to be a Shear Tomiko. I was wondering who made it. You might have seen me with it. And then at the end here, of course, is the uh, catalog on their optical comparators. This is very similar to the one I've got, but it looks like they've added some kind of electronic control. And Shear Tamika was very much noted for their optical comparators. And I don't think I mentioned this before, but several viewers have mentioned that uh, the Navy and the uh, government bought an awful lot of these products for use in government machine shops and measuring. So they were highly regarded by our federal, reg federal government. All right, that concludes my little tutorial number two on rank precision SPI tools. Thanks for watching. See you next time.